A Bowab tree had inspired me, connection to country to a higher degree. From far and wide, I travel both states, searching for an idea, for an art to create. In Sydney and Melbourne, my inspiration began to sitting and looking for an art to plan. I carried my journal, a book of my goals, keeping a record of writing involved. Photos was taken to inspire me, holding the memories that my eyes had seen. So many art, not enough time, had to head back for some quality time. So my journey has ended and home I went, thought of the arts and hours I spent. I imagined my art of what it could be, holding my knowledge on the Boab tree. From history to culture, knowledge to country, started right here on my own country. Hi everyone, my name is Jane Griffith. I'm a Mirawong woman from the East Kimberley in Kununurra, Western Australia. Hello everyone, my name is Peggy Griffith and I'm a Mirawong speaker. At the moment we're here sitting down at Cockadoo Creek. This is the place that we come to have a swim, have lunch and be one with our ancestors. I picked my daughter because I was an artist ever since I was young. And I had some old people to help me to do my painting and, and then pass it on to my younger generation. Country Road and NGV First Nation Commission gave me the opportunity to make an ambitious, big work that I haven't done before. My artwork will be four meters high. It will be 32 paintings, boab nuts hanging off the paper. I'll also have a plinth on the floor with extra boab nuts and boab slips. The boab tree and the boab nuts mean to me and my family and my community. It's our survival and it also bears us fruit, water, history, knowledge, and it also represents the birthplace where my grandmother was born, under the boab tree. The boab tree is really special in a way. There's the boab tree, there's the leaf, and there's the nut. When the leaf turns yellow, it breaks off and it falls to the ground whereas the nut is still hanging up there. To us in Mirong people, the leaf represents our ancestors and our old people and our family that passed on, they fall to the ground, but the nut is still up there and that represents our next generation and the nut is our survival. The day in my country mean to me is connection to country. When you got connection to country, you connect back to your ancestors. You connect back to survival of how to find bush tucker to survive and water and passing on that knowledge down to your children. So working alongside my mother, my mentor, my tradi traditional teacher, my walking knowledge. It made us more stronger coming together, working together, just being together. Passing down knowledge to me so I could pass it on to the next generation. Working along with my daughter, it's made me so proud and happy. <laughs> 